when you say you don't like a move by him do you mean a move for you or him i think it's like more about him than me because i like all my moves my moves are the best okay finally we got a game okay here we go i want to get my rating back to like 3250 i think that's my goal go here a bishop c5 actually is completely fine too but I, I just don't want to go into that right now go here and take I guess play a6 so I, I can stop b5 I can always just castle as well uh I guess I'll go here and play knight d4 kind of like the position take classic wooden shield here I'm gonna go h5 maybe g5 g4 I'm gonna try to attack him I have knight g4 queen h4 with the fish hook as well yeah it's plus one like I'm not happy about it but I, like I just want to play blitz I mean I can also go g5 very aggressively knight g4 looks correct though to scare him this probably doesn't do anything actually but it should scare him I could have played knight 7 knight g5 which is also interesting too I just need to clean 13 yeah try to figure out how I play this I think knight h7 was actually a better move but uh, it is what it is yeah he's thinking for a long time here Hikaru I literally don't care about my rating also Hikaru works on getting his rating higher constantly well I mean the thing is I'm just trying to play blitz but it's yeah if you win games your rating goes up mostly not always with where my ratings at to be fair but it was g3 which looks I don't know somehow that looks insane to me I don't know g3 looks kind of nuts maybe it's not but this bishop wait what now I just eat the juicer I eat the juicer and I win the game there's ggs g g g g g g what the fridge is going on okay that's not how you play chess sometimes okay so we're 12 away so we just keep going one or one of 13 in the books why only plus one because my rating is too uh my rating is too high what do you want what you gonna do what you gonna do I think there was an old um wasn't there an old uh TV show like America's got got talents like what you gonna do what you gonna do um so that's what I feel like saying uh he goes f5 so I'll play c4 lock it up Th there's that song right um what what you gonna do America's got talent <laughs> yeah it's what you're gonna do Burton Crane America's got talent yeah I'm not crazy I knew I wasn't crazy yeah <laughs> he goes there which I don't like um I'm gonna play h3 and g4 I guess lower your rating 2800 and then you'll get you'll get games yeah uh the spread between my ratings is too high yeah that was an old show you must be very old <laughs> I must be very old okay I apologize I'm very old you guys I, I'm sorry no no the the what you what you're gonna do is the this bad boys bad boys what you're gonna do what you're gonna do when they come for you that's cops that's the other one but no I remember there was the America's Got Talent episode cops is so old though I remember watching cops as a kid when I was like what like eight years old or something yeah cops is really old he goes queen e8 which I don't really like um I can play knight g3 I can also go king h2 I don't know I mean this looks fine to me what do I know about chess anyway but he goes there which is interesting because now I can take but I think I just play knight g3 put pressure on the pawns now at some point there's g5 h4 potentially I mean I think I'm gonna go here to hit the pawn first so just keep an eye I'm gonna spy the pawn and I'm probably gonna go like Queen e2 and rook h1 or rook g1 somewhere I'm gonna maybe go g5 maybe h4 it was knight f8 logical and I'm gonna play like um I need to reroute my pieces I think I'm gonna go knight e1 and knight g2 maybe I'm trying to figure out where I can put my knight 
Maybe I go knight g2 and h4, h5. Or knight g2, bishop e1, and then get rid of the bishops, maybe? I don't know. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop out. Stop. Wait a second. What is g5? That looks like an insane move. Maybe it's good, but it looks completely insane and out of... It looks 100% wrong. Um, looks very wrong. But I actually, maybe I don't have a way to punish it. Maybe it's a good move. It looks insane to me, but... I'm gonna take. Oh, it goes knight. She's what? That's not what I expected. Wait, what? So now I go knight knight f3, and no, he's completely flubbed this up. No, I mean this is just bad because now I'm gonna get the knight to h5 and f6. I'm he's playing with a dead bishop behind the pawn wall, so because he has a dead bishop on c8 here, my king is not actually all that weak. So it should be pretty good. And now I think I just jump with the with the horse, and the horse is getting to f6, and this is going downhill very quickly for my opponent. He resigns, 11 to go. Let's keep going. Just by playing him these couple of games, I do feel like I can beat him uh, 11 in a row. Just my intuitive feeling. Go here again. Bishop c5 completely fine, but two draws for playing it against 2800. Ah, uh, he wants to play this one. Okay, so I'll castle. Go back. Keep the bishop on c5. You can always play h6 and g5. Just go here. Trade the knight for the bishop. Okay, it's all very similar. D's knights, yeah. Goes there. Okay, so of course I take. Go knight d4. Great bastion. He's probably going to play like g3 or something. I just want to stack here. I just have to figure out what I'm doing in the in the center of the board mainly. That's the main thing I have to figure out here. Okay, take. Go here. I mean, this is already uh, this is already like dreaming. I'm gonna plop that pony on d4 and smoke him. I'm gonna go knight c6, knight d4. I like. I really like Miss Tomei and Oscar. You mean Marissa Tomei? Wh wh what do you mean Tomei? I assume you mean Marissa Tomei. I don't know who else there is named Tomei, but anyway. Um, what are we even talking about? I'm confused. What are you guys talking about? Um, Oh, an Oscar 1991? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm not familiar with that movie specifically, but yes. Actually, I'm just going to go back. I, I don't have to do this, but what I want to do is I want to play A5 to stop the push. So I'm going to go here, and now I'm going to stack the two towers. Bishop on G2, very passive, by the way. Yeah. My Cousin Vinny was amazing. I love that movie. That's one of my favorite movies, actually. Let's go here and rook D8. Um... If F4, I can also just take and plop the knight here. Yeah. Bash and reject it. I'm going to go for it in a move or two. But I also have to be careful because the pawn A5 is hanging if I play knight D4. So I want to go like 1, 2, and then attack. It was F4. Okay. I mean, I can play F6. Rook D8 looks completely fine here. Can't take, so he loses the tower. Rook F3. I mean, okay, now I have knight D4. I also can take, but I'm just going to go F6 here. Just consolidate. If takes, I just take with the Pony Rook guards against the Ice Skater. And everything looks relatively okay. Relatively being the key word. Independent rear suspension. Yes. Yes. Do I have magic? Do I make magic grits? Yes, exactly. Um, okay, but now I can take and take H4, but I don't like. So I'm going to go here, consolidate further. Just consolidate the chain on the queen side. Why do you resign? What? Okay, 10 more to go. I don't know why I resigned there, but okay. I mean, maybe he thought his position was just that bad. I don't know. That looked very suspicious. Uh, let's go here. It goes B5. So this is actually kind of problematic. I'm going to play like Knight B3. Go here in castles. I would resign against you after the first move. Yeah. When you say you don't like a move by him, do you mean a move for you or him? I think it's like more about him than me because I like all my moves. My moves are the best. 
Anyway, um, okay. Let's see what we get here. Um, I'll, I'll just castle. Maybe play queen f3. <laughs> the queen h3 next move. Um, I can also go a4, but I'm going to play like rook a1 and queen h3. Um, <laughs> my moves are the best, yeah. So I'll go a3 and take. Rook c1 next move. It's all very standard here. Go here. Pressure, knight d5, knight a5. Goes there. I think knight a5 is a good move. Now I have e5 threats as well. Actually, I don't know if knight a5 is a great move. It's maybe not as good as I thought it was. And go g4. Yeah, let's just go, get all in on the gravy train of attacking him. This might be bad too, but I'm going to go for it. I just want to attack him hard in the center of the board. I think actually in this position, I should have just gone g4, g5 instantly. Or maybe even here, just g4, g5. Goes there. Okay, I'm going to start attacking. Keep attacking. F5. I have F6, which is a very scary move too. His rook is uncoordinated. Knight d5 threat. Now I could take on d5 if I want to. Um, question whether I want to take or not. It's also knight b3. Actually, I should not have probably done this because now it's like it's it's still good for me, but I have to be very precise. And black's moves are a lot easier than my moves. My moves are a lot harder to play. Um, I go f6. There's bishop d8. I don't know, whatever. I'm still going to do it, though. I mean, this looks very scary. There's like bishop h6 or something, maybe? Maybe not quite. Um... I feel like there should be something here that I'm missing. Like, check. I mean, somehow, I, I don't know, but there's bishop g7. But then I have knight b3 and knight c5, which is also scary, too. But also bishop h6. Like, I, I don't really know what's going on here, so... There is just king h8, which is kind of a problem, too, maybe. Okay, you can play bishop g7. I can go e5. Felt like there should be some tactic here, but I don't see it. Um, I guess I'll go here then and just trade. Maybe Bishop A6 was also fine too, but we'll see. No, I've definitely misplayed this game. This is not not great. Takes, of course I take. He takes. Of course I take with the pawn. As long as the knight's not hanging, I'm fine. Have to be careful. Yeah, I have to block and go into an end game. That's not what I want to do at all. Still probably fine due to the time situation, but this is not what I wanted. A five, that's a good move too. Shoot. Um. Yeah, it's actually just very problematic. Okay, I need to like really reset here. Um. If I really reset here. Okay, it's not a move. Look here. I just gotta move. Gotta move. Gotta move. Pick up the speed. Let's go here, I guess. Put pressure on the knight. Maybe knight b3, knight c5. Maybe rook g4 also. Yeah, rook g4, knight e4. Now I'm probably okay. Jeez, what am I doing? What the heck am I doing here? I mean, I have to go for it. I don't want to do this, but I have to go for it. Um, how do I do this? Okay, I gotta move. Okay. Um, of course, I need to keep knights on the board. I got lucky. He, he, um, I got lucky. He missed a win.
There we go. Ooh, that was close. Jeez. Hi, yeah, yeah, that was bad. Nine to go. Hmm. Keep going. That was terrible. I thought I got way too close for comfort. I mean, I, I finished it off, but yeah, that was bad. He missed a rook G one. He had a rook G one check that he missed. That was very, very bad. Yeah. You know. okay, let's go D five. Play the safe line. Can take play knight C six. Uh, let's just take the pawn. Play bishop E six or knight A six here. Remove king D eight. Go here. go here and play knight c5 I guess to hit the queen I mean it's not a great position but it's playable oh I was supposed to put the bishop on c5 not the knight I knew I did something wrong actually yeah I was supposed to put the bishop on c5 not the knight yeah I I, I knew I did something wrong okay because b4 I trade I put like 96 so I can take the pawn on b4 I think I just go back and it should be fine a3 logical take play c5 try to open up the file and keep going I can just take I should be okay here due to this open c file feels like it's okay I know maybe it's not but it feels okay I sound very bored do I sound bored oh I'm so sorry if I sound bored kick m sensei no you guys a strike for a strike hard no mercy that's what that's the actual phrase um but anyway yeah all right, let's keep going. What do you do? He played rook d3, which just hangs a juicer. Three pawn. I see three pawn. I take three pawn. I don't know what accent I'm doing, by the way. Let's just go a5 and queen c6. Play rook d8. I mean, this is great. Just trade the rooks. Yeah, I don't know what that accent is, but whatever. Let's go. Um, I'm just going to play h6. Go rook c8. Pressure on the uh, c file. No extra keyboard? Yeah, I do have an extra keyboard, luckily. That's what I'm plugged in with now. Goes E5. No, I play knight D7. What am I missing? I have Queen C2 check. There's also knight C5 to fork the queen and the rook. Do more of that accent? I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go check. Oh, wait. Did, why did I blitz out this move? I could have used more time rather than just blitzing the move instantly. Like a complete mindless um, fuel. Take. We'll go here. Can I do a leprechaun accent? I don't know what a leprechaun accent is. Sorry. Um, so I, I can't help you with that one. Apologies. <laughs> I don't know what my accent even was, but it was something. Something weird from who knows where. Okay, I should win this one too. So it was French. It was like, it was a bad French accent. Okay. French. 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 Yeah. I can't do accents, unfortunately. I wish I, I wish I could. I wish I possessed that ability, but I don't. So if I'm jealous of Daniel for any reason, that's for that reason, you guys. Okay, so he goes there. So rookie four is fine. Bishop D2. I assume rookie four is good because with the double connectors outside I should win he's got the four on three so he wants to push P here so as long as I can stop him from pushing P I should be winning yeah I like your southern accent southern accent is always the easiest to do though everybody can do a good good K Kona accent I don't know what King F2 is I can just go B3 Nazi 2 Nazi 4 B2 B1 get a queen win the game you know down south we like him Queens Okay. Um, this is 92, 94. <laughs> uh, let's go here, 94. Uh, let's take. Uh, G6 isn't required, but it's a move. Uh, <laughs> no, I was about to say something bad. I was about to say something inappropriate about southern southerners uh, and relations. But anyway, let's 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 go G6 and 94. Uh, let's play knight f3 here, and I'm gonna go b3, d4, e3. Yeah. Go bishop b2 d4 and e3 let's go e3 d4 <laughs> where's the new chair what new chair alabama yes know them laws them laws go queen e2 and c4 but rick d1 um just take and take i'm gonna take and play a simple 
Knight D2, probably C4, and just open it up. Rook C1, I can take. I think because I'm just better than him, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna skill out skill him in an end game. I'm just gonna out skill him in an end game. Probably not smart, but I think I can. Go H4. I think I can just out skill him. I mean, it's obviously a draw perfect play, but I'm a GM and he's an FM, so I should do it to always win. Okay. Let's hear a Scandinavian accent. That one I cannot do, no matter how much you ask me to do it. It's not possible. I don't speak Arabic, no. I only speak like the Romance languages um, or parts of them. Goes Queen C6. I can play H5. I can also go Knight C4. Um, I kind of like Knight C4. Maybe it's wrong. It's a matter of how I play this, really. He actually goes into this end game. I assume this end game was just winning. Was not winning, but I assume this was just much better for me. I'm a little surprised he's happy to go into this. Um, but you know what? We're so early in the game that I think it's not in my best. Uh, let's just go for it. I, I don't know if this is right, but let's go for it. If the pawn's on h2, I'm much happier in this end game than the pawn being on h4. Okay, so of course I play knight d4, and then king f1, king e2, king d3. I mean, problem for me mainly is that the pawns are on the, the, the wrong squares here. The pawn's on h2, I'm happy in this end game. Very happy. But I'm just going to run my king up, and knight c6, king d4. Like, it, it is a little bit scary here already for black to play. Definitely not trivial, that's for sure. Bishop e5, so I go here. Now I can go with like king d3, king d4. Like it's starting to get a little bit scary. Go here. Oh, does he have h6 to stop me? I mean, because king d4 is very scary here. I guess I'll go back and maybe reroute the knight to c2 or something. Somehow I need, I need my knight on other squares. Let's go here, force a5, drop back. I'll go knight e1, maybe. Go here, and knight e3. That was a big mistake. Well, big mistake, maybe it's the wrong way of putting it, but definitely not right. I'm going to go f3 and g4, maybe. I mean, I don't want to play b4. Yeah, why did I do this? I completely bungled this. I don't know why I went into an end game from the start either. That was completely insane. How do I do this? Is there any trickery? I have four. Yeah, I mean, this is just insane by me. He plays b5. I don't have that. I don't have h5. I mean, I guess I'd play like g4. No, this is just ridiculous. I've completely messed this up. I don't know why I played it like this. Just, just move. Just move. 96, maybe. I have knight f8, which is a big threat. Okay. Here, no, that's a bad move too. Why did I do that? No, why did I do this? A good move, actually. No, it's just a draw. Why did I do this? This is so stupid of me. Yeah, so stupid of me. Yeah, 
matches to draw. Stupid. Uh, I'll play five more. Yeah, I mean, I just went into an end game right away, which is ridiculous. Against a player of his caliber, that was so stupid. I could have gotten him way lower on time. I mean, I still almost swindled him, but that was just very poor technique by me. Yeah, I mean, I don't care about minus seven. It's better that I drew and I didn't didn't lose. Um, uh, five more to go. Oh, this should be three. Okay, I guess I'll just play here again. Oh, it's just castle. Go here and trade the bishops. Only minus seven, yes. Only minus seven, because that's the maximum loss. Um, let's just take, I guess, and go here. I could have played knight d4, bishop d4 right away. I don't know why I didn't do that. Thank you, no ants for the two months. Thank you, no ants, ants. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah. I just, yeah, I'm going to play five more, and then I think I'm just going to stop. Because it's just a little bit too much. You can lose eight in draws. I mean, oh, eight is the max. Yeah, it's plus 16, I guess. Yeah. Okay, now the thing is I can also just... Yeah, I think I should just take this and take this. Play as like a true, um, true like Grand Prix here. Play on the cold queen king side. Play knight versus bishop. More imbalance, definitely. Give some credit. I mean, he's playing fine, but I, I mean, I, I went into an end game way too early. If he had 30 seconds less, I would have won that game. Yeah, I don't know why you're saying that. Like, yeah, you're acting like, I mean, the fact is I would have won that game if I didn't if I didn't trade when he had two minutes on the clock. If he had one minute, I maybe could have won it. Maybe. But I just, I went right into an end game from the get-go, which was just very, very stupid. Let's go here. I can just play, I mean, B6 looks fine. Just take with the A pawn. Could have played Rook B2, maybe. Maybe Rook B is better. I don't know. Who cares? He's just, he's, he's too slow here. Go C4, which is actually, I think, a very good move, unfortunately. I'm going to go here. A 97, maybe. I don't know if it's good. It's a move. It's a move. I have knight A5. I have D4. Go here. Get the pawn. Get a great bash and guard everything. It's decent. It's fairly decent, actually. I like my position. It goes D4. So now he's begging me. I mean, I can take and it's even, but you know what? I got to play e4. If I don't play e4, I don't know what I'm even playing for. So I'm just going to take and play rook e8, hit the queen. Like, I'm down a pawn here, but it's a good pawn to be down, if that makes sense. I guess I'll just go h6. It's a, it's a very, very good pawn to be down. Oh, wait. Rook e6 is bad. What am I doing? Go here. Maybe queen g6. Maybe rook e6, rook g6 also. He's a little bit too slow. I mean, it's kind of the point. Like, he's too slow. So if I can just keep the pressure on him on the clock, good things will happen. Um, I think queen h5 is a move. But queen h5, g4, rook g6, f3. be a problem. I can line up a legendary triple stack. I think I'm going to go here, though. This looks very uh, complex. And he's getting low on time again. Now we'll watch Master Chef a little bit later on. I'm trying to find some way to complicate the situation. Do I have Rook F3 here is a question. I might, but... I'm just going to line up the legendary triple stack. Go here, maybe. Oh, Queen H5 is a bad move. Got Bishop D2. Yeah, I mean, I'm just... Just go back. It's not a threefold, is it? No. I was worried this might be a threefold. Huh. This this game, for example, he's playing a very good game. Like this game, I'm not getting what I want. I mean, he's too low on time, so I'll win. But this one, I will give a lot of credit because he's actually playing very, very well, and I'm not playing well. Oh, that's a blunder because of rook f6. I take and I block. Just lock the knight on D d5, basically, and play queen d6. Wait, did I mess this up? Oh, let's get a little bit tricky. Go here and king f7. Oh, I missed queen g5, too. What the heck? Just 
slow down and just relax. Still completely fine. I missed this whole idea. Um, if I go rook g6, rook e8. Yeah, again, I'm, I'm misplaying this. Okay, but now I win, I think. Go here, just run the king up. I coordinate the rooks in the knight. Now the knight just jumps. Yeah, even this one, I let it get a little bit messier than I would have liked. Um, just block and just slide back. Yeah, like that was a bad game. Yeah. I mean, that guy found some really good tactics, which I, I mean, I really should have seen them too, but yeah. It was not the dream. Let's go knight of three. This guy's always going after pawns. Yeah. I'm going to take and play like e5, I guess. Or he takes with the queen. Let's go here. I'm just going to play like bishop f3. I know this is actually great, but I think it's okay. Queen b6 also unusual. Um, we'll go knight e4. Of course, he finds knight h6, which is kind of annoying, actually. Yeah, why did I do this? I've already misplayed this quite badly. Guess I'll go here. Maybe bishop d2 and castles. Goes knight h4. Now, I think what I'm going to do here is I think I might just castle into all the tricks. I think I'm just going to castle right into all the tricks. There's also bishop a5. I can also play bishop a5. No, I think I'm just going to take with a pawn. Got a good center here, a good bishop, good piece play. Big threats towards d7. This should be good for me. Um... I can play rook g1. I can play bishop e3, too. I think I'm going to go bishop e3 to hit the queen. Bishop a5 was also an interesting move. And I can play rook g1 here. I think rook g1 is a good move. Castles, he loses the pawn. It should be good for me. He has g6, maybe. Who knows? Hard to judge. Yeah, I'm going to go h4 here, obviously. There are a lot of big threats. Like, he goes h5. Interesting. I guess I'll just play king b1. Just a quiet move. Just sidestep on any tricks. Let's see. A logical. b3 looks reasonable. Just cut off queen c4. Not that that's actually a threat. Not a threat. Why did I do that? Bishop d5, very logical move. I can play knight f6 somewhere in here. I think I'm going to go bishop d4, though. Maybe to Fianchito the bishop. Maybe I have f5 somewhere in here. Maybe. Takes. I mean, I'm... Oh, wait. I take, and then I go f5. He's going to go pawn grabbing, I guess. I mean, looks fairly insane to go for this pawn. But he might do it. But now I'm getting f5, too. Like, this just doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, f5 is coming next move, and his king is completely stuck in the middle of the board. And now he realizes. This guy is tired of knight endgames? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, takes. Of course, I go f5. It goes, it goes rook g8. Now, I could play f6 here, which is kind of dank and weird and everything. But I think f6 is actually a good move to lock the bishop out of the game forever. His bishop is just... Well, okay, that's not quite how you get it done. <laughs> 
Not quite right. Yeah, that's just not quite right in general terms, how, how you win games. So it goes D4 and Knight F6. Play E6. Okay, Knight F3. I'm going to play the classic Bogo Indian with Bishop D4 and C5. Oh, he plays Knight D2. I did not expect that. Um, together. Let's take. I'll castle. Play knight c6. All very standard. Oh, I takes with a knight. Interesting. Did not expect that, actually. I guess I'll drop back then. Probably goes like b4. Okay, he plays bishop f3. I'm going to play knight c6. Queen c8, he's going to trade everything off. I don't really want to play that end game right now. So I'm going to go knight c6 here. He takes with the knight. I take with a pawn, of course. Knight e4, logical. Let's go here. He wants another end game, obviously. Queen C2. Of course, here I have zero intention of playing an end game. I'm gonna go knight D7, knight E5, and F5. Maybe even C5 here. I feel like I'm actually doing pretty well. He should he should have traded the knights when he had the chance. Okay, let's go knight E5. This is step one. This is step two. Okay, now the question is: Do I play C5 here? Or do I go F6? I think I should play c5 here. I'm going to play bishop b2. I'm going to go a6 to stop knight b5. And then I have bishop f6 and a move or two. I mean, this should be pretty good for me. I'll go here. Activate the bishop. Queen c6, a big threat, potentially. Potentially being the key word. Could have played f4 too, which also would have been kind of interesting. But I think bishop f6 is best. I also, oh, I realized maybe I had rook f6 and rook g6. Hmm. Yeah, actually, rook f6 could have been really interesting here. Oh, well, I missed it. That's life. Okay, it goes f4. Because then I would have had rook g6 and I'd be fine. But is this, yeah, no. Um, I guess I go knight f7. I don't know if f7 is the best move, but it's a move. Probably is going to go like bishop f3. Yeah, rook f6 was a much better idea. Um, but it is what it is. It is what it is, as the saying goes. It is what it is. 52. I'm probably going to trade one set of knights. I just have to figure out, or not one set of knights. I'm probably going to trade one set of rooks. Let's go here and trade this set. I don't know if it matters. Let's take. Let's just go here to, to close off everything. Play his bishop about three, so he's happy to play in this end game as well, which I'm a little surprised by, i got to be honest. Because this one, I assume, is actually quite advantageous for me. Do I have G5? No, the knight. No, wait. Do I play G5? Yeah, why not? Why not? It's a move. Why not? Takes, I take with the knight. 70 and a half to half should be th uh, 3,300. Yeah. Now, see, here, though, again, I have this option to play like Rook D8 and play a very similar end game to earlier. But now, unlike earlier, I'm not going right into the end game. Why don't I threaten checkmate in one? Yeah, I know. That's. Uh, that would be a good idea if I could. I thought I had Rook D8 here. Don't I just have Rook D8 to win the game? Yeah, I just missed this. When he moves, I take. Okay, he takes, I take. I assume I go G4 here to go for checkmate. He's going to have to go Knight G1. And now it's just a matter of opening up the scopes. Opening up everything here if I can. Maybe just like stage 5 even. There's still no threat. So I'm going to go B5. Well, first of all, I have knight d6, which I assume is a bigly, very, very bigly threat of knight, C knight e4. And I don't think he has a good way of stopping it. I take, yeah, I'll just take and then I go knight e4. And I mean, this should be winning. Bishop e5, just knight f7. He resigns. Okay, two more to go. Let's keep rolling. Okay, let's keep going with the e4 because I've gotten good positions. I'll take, I'll go here. I mean, I don't think this is correct somehow. Go here. Go here. I don't know. Maybe it's completely fine, but... I could have played queen d3 also. I don't know if... Okay, so I take. Go here. Hit the queen. I right, place queen c6. Do I play knight e4? Do I care? No, fudge it. Let's just go for it. 
I'm just going to castle and attack him in the center of the board. He can grab a pawn. Ah, uh, he doesn't grab it. Okay, so castles. Drop back. If he takes again, I think I have G4. I don't know if it's actually good, but it looks, once again, very scary. Go here, target the pawn. Probably I'm going to stack the two rooks in a second as well. Let's see what he does. Goes H4. Don't really like that move. I mean, again, I think I just go for the same concept. Just stack the two rooks. Pressure on the pawn. I mean, G4 looks like a good move. Let's just go G4 and play N Peasant. There might be some trick with Knight F6 that I'm missing too, potentially. But I don't see it right off. This looks like a great position. I'm going to be honest. It looks like a fabulous position. Or is it? He has d5, which I also... I assume there was a tactic, but there isn't. So I'll go back. Play knight b3. But I have g4 to kick the knight out of town. So maybe it's not so bad. Yeah, it's probably not d4. Wait, what? If I trade, I go knight f3. And now this should be really, really good. If he takes, he loses the rook. Yeah, I'm going to win this game. So we're going to have to win one more game. Man, these 2800 are such noobs. Yeah, I mean, maybe when you watch me play, they are. But I guarantee if you were playing them... The results would not look so good. They would not look so good for you. I'm gonna be honest. They would look a little bit um a little bit mediocre. But let's see. Um they, they they'd be a little bit mediocre. I think that's a nice way of putting it. I'm just gonna go here. I don't even know if King G2 is the right move, but it's a move. Yeah, your your results would look a they wouldn't look quite as good. I'm gonna put it that way. Yeah, I mean I, I understand the concept of what you think, but what you think and what reality is are two very, very different things. Um, and it goes B4. I take and play G4. The, the G4 is what I want to do, so I'm just going to take. Go B3. I just want to go G4, essentially. That's all I'm aiming for. Yeah, if I get G4, 96, I have King H3. That was the whole reason of moving the king up in the first place to guard the pawn. I'll go G4. Uh, do I go G3 or H3? I think G3 is right just because somehow I'm closer to the center versus H3 or I'm off on the edge. But again, this should be pretty smoothly winning. With F5, I just play N Peasant once again. Or G5 even. Okay, now. If I take with the bishop, he gets Rook C3. At the end. Rook C4, Rook D3. Could be slightly annoying. But who cares? Who literally cares? Not me. Let's take the knight, drop back. Keep this knight stuck in gel on the edge of the board. Let's go back. Rook d8, knight g5, big threat. Oh, does he have a4 here? I kind of assumed he did not have it. Of course he does have it. Oh, wait, but I can just check and play rook d4, yes. That's how I do it. I just go here, and he has to trade, and then he loses the game. Because the outside juicer is too much, I assume. Signs, let's go again. One more. Go e6. Is is a warm up? Um, no, I'm just playing blitz because I want to play blitz. Um, it's castle. You can play a3, and I'll take. I actually won over two thousand player in the arena. Awesome, that's great to hear. Fantastic. Goes a3, so I take. I mean, I'm just gonna play d6. Probably knight e4. Probably knight bd7. Simple chess, as we like to say. I'm way up on clogging. How about some plus two action? Yeah, I know. Plus two. I, I mean, that's that's. I would have loved that, but nobody wants to play at plus two. That's so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to go F5 and maybe... I, I think I'm going to actually get aggressive here. I'm going to play like Rook F6. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, let's go... Uh, let's just go knight d7, I guess, and queen e7, maybe knight df6 at some point. Yeah, I'll go here. I guess I'll play knight df6. And obviously take, and I take. It was b4, which I don't particularly love from him. It's still a decent move, but I yeah, I guess I'll just go rook c8. I don't even know if this is right. I'll take. I'm going to go b5, probably. I mean, dc was fine, but I, I, I need to win this game, so I'd rather be 
plays very much on the edge as opposed to playing something solid. Although I have some problems here potentially. Actually, maybe I have real problems. Ah, oh, shoot. Go. So, I'm gonna play a5. Probably a bad. A a6 was the right. Why did I play a5? It's a ridiculous move by me. Absolutely ridiculous move. A6 was, of course, the correct move to trade the pawns. Yeah, terrible decision. I can take with F pawn, but I'm going to just take with a knight. So I can drop back, play rook D8. Bum, 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 bum. Maybe I go A4 here, though. Yeah, maybe I just go A4 and create the uh, pawn on the opposite color. Because now the bishop can never touch the pawn. Yeah, this isn't actually so bad after all now. No, now I think I'm actually maybe okay. He never should let me get A4. He should have played A4 himself. Big mistake. Of course, I take with a pawn. Because now I also get D5, and I can maybe build a big black center somewhere. If I go D5, he was wanted Rook D6, of course. That's his whole plan. And now it's very good, because the pawn at A4 is, is very, very strong. I have rook f5, I have rook g5. I mean, there, there are big threats legitimately now. Bum, 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 bum. Is he going to go queen e5 or something to force an endgame? He is, of course. I know it's like, know, know, the, know the man, know the player, know how to play the game. <sighs> queen f7 is no good. Queen d7 is hangs upon. I don't really want to do this. I don't have a good move, though. Do I? Queen f7, f4, or f3. Let's just trade. I'm gonna go here and I'm actually gonna start pushing the C pawn, I think, soon. Go here, attack the pawn. Just bring the king in, I guess. I need six maybe. Oh, and now I just oh what the heck was that? Oh great. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay, what was that? Right when I'm so close to the finish line, I throw it with King. I throw it by hanging the pawn on G7. It was a four, but go here maybe. Wait, but now I can check. Why didn't I just play D4 right away? Again, just insane by me just to blunder like this. Oh, let's just go C4. Um, I guess I'll go here and Bishop F5 maybe. Hit the Rook. It just says B6 or something. I should have gone to C5 too to make him lose time. Now I have check. Okay, now it gets. Ah, I missed D5 too, of course. I mean, there's C. There are tricks here. I do this. Maybe rook b3. Okay, now I'm now I'm good. All right, should be good. Bad game, very bad game, but we got the win. All right, guys, I'm going to go use the restroom, and then we'll be right back.